So fun fact about having a dog, you gotta take it out. When you take it out, sometimes it's raining. Not always fun, but it's all right. At least he's cute. It's hot. You okay? You all right? He is hot. Yes, this is, ooh, ooh, careful. Okay. All right, this is literally, this is literally my life now. I'm being attacked in my own car by my dog. I literally, I literally went and got a coffee. I came back, he was in my driver's seat. Apparently he just missed me that much, but yeah, just as if trying to vlog everything didn't make it hard enough. Now with a puppy trying to do that, just makes everything even harder. I like finally understand like the whole like things that are like inclusive for like pets, like being able to take your pet to the store and stuff. Already super busy morning. Uh, coached class this morning and then did some video work for the gym and then ran some errands, right? We had to, no, we just had to run some errands. One of the things we did do this morning was brought Ninja to a local boarding, grooming, just pet supply store, right? So it's owned by these two people um, that are locals in our town and they opened up a small business. So it was great because we got to support them. Ninja got to get a few new treats and a new bed and a new toy and Honestly, we help support another small business. And if you ever wanna be successful in small business, you gotta go support other businesses. It was awesome talking to Amanda, the woman that owns Sandy Paws, the local groomer in town today, because like we're on the same wavelength. We, as a small business owner, we both understand the hardships and the joys that come with owning a small business, right? The ups and the downs. So if you wanna be successful in small business, one of the best things you can do is go talk to other small business owners. Even if they're not in the same industry, or even whether or not you sell retail and they sell a product, it doesn't matter, right? Or services or whatever, just talking with them, because a lot of the trials and tribulations that you guys will go through are very, very similar across the same fields. And so one of the things that we try to do here is literally support other small businesses. Like, there's a coffee shop in town, I'll go get coffee there. It might be a little bit more expensive than, say, Dunkin' Donuts, but I'd rather support somebody else that's gonna go through the same things that I'm gonna go through and know that my money's going to somebody else instead of a big corporation. And it's real simple. If you wanna go talk to another business owner, bring in a cup of coffee, sit down with the business owner and go, how can I help? So if you go in with a help first mentality, then it's a two-way street. You help them, they help you. You help their clients, their clients, then in turn become your clients. So you can literally help them and in turn help yourself. It's a two-way street. It's wonderful and it's possibly one of the best ways to help bolster your client base in the local area. Not only that, but you just make great connections. People that you can share similar experiences with. You can talk to these people about some things that like you can't talk about with anybody else. Like there are things as a business owner that you don't get to share and so it's imperative to offload those sometimes so you don't blow up and so what better way than to talk to somebody else that's had a similar experience or will have a similar experience so yeah guys honestly one of the best ways to help grow your own business is to go help support other businesses in your local area that's it for this video guys if you like the video hit that like button if you're new to the channel think about hitting that subscribe button and i'll check you guys next time take it easy